Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you the same rover as we have discussed in the previous video. As you can see, this is the same rover. There are, there are three wheels in this rover. The two rear wheels and one front directional wheel. So this front wheel is going to decide the direction of movement. So as you can see here, in this rover, there is external power supply. I am not using lithium ion battery yet. However, lithium ion battery can be connected. The rover is capable of bearing the load. Not an issue for the design. So as you can see here, you can see here there is a Bluetooth modem. You can see this is the HC05 Bluetooth modem. So with this HC05 Bluetooth modem, this rover is going to communicate with the laptop or an Android device. So like this we can control the motion of the rover. So as you can see here, as you can see here, there are three stepper motors, same as I have shown in the previous video. So there are two stepper motors on the back, you can see, and the spindle of the stepper motor is connected with the wheels. You can see the spindle is connected to the wheel here also. And this is the wooden support. And you can see there is Arduino Uno controlling the rover. And there is Arduino Uno CNC shield on the top. This is the Arduino Uno CNC shield. So as you can see here, the front wheel of the rover is controlled by this NEMA 17 stepper motor. And here is the front wheel. So as you can see here, this is the HC05 Bluetooth modem as I have said before. And you can see here the modem is connected here. So here are the transmit and receive pins. So in this transmit and receive pins the modem is connected. One thing to note is that the modem cannot be interfaced directly for the serial transmit and data lines. So for this we are using voltage divider resistors. So this can be obtained easily on the modem documentation. You can see here the resistors are there. So these resistors are used to, use, these are the biasing resistors so that the modem is compatible to plus 5 volts DC supply. So as you can see this is how the circuit looks like. So now we are going to, so now we are going to control this modem from the laptop. So as you can see here this is the software and now I am going to use serial monitor. I am going to use the serial monitor to control this device. So I have powered up the device. You can see the HC05 modem started to communicate. You can see here the HC05 modem has started to communicate. So now I am going to issue a command. The modem is ready to receive command. So now I am going to give a command. You have seen the, the device has traveled back. So I am going to give a command for forward motion. You can see it is moving forward. Again I will give a command to move forward. See. So I am basically giving a command from my laptop. You can see I am giving a command from my laptop. So now I am going to give a reverse command to bring it back. So it is coming back to me. See I am giving a reverse command to bring it back. So I can give a command to turn the motor also. So let us give a command to turn the motor right. You can see. So I am giving command to turn also. You can see. So like this from the serial monitor I am giving the commands. So let us see the serial monitor status. You can see here on the serial monitor. See I am pressing the buttons. On the serial let me extend the serial monitor. You can see I am pressing some buttons. I am pressing some buttons and I am getting those feedbacks. 
so this is how the device is working so this is how my rover is working in the next part of this video i am going to make an android app so that i can control the motor using my cell phone thanks a lot thanks for watching